In the importance of being earnest, I spoke about how you should never do things with only half of your effort, or only half of your investment. But something will come up from people, which is that there are times where there is no hope of achieving victory, or your goals, or anything. So why try? Why hope? Or why put forth your utmost when it looks like there is no chance of achieving anything? I return to you that something being impossible is no reason not to try. Oh, well, that's completely illogical. If it's impossible, why would you try? Well, because, for one thing, how many things that have been assumed to be impossible truly were? I mean, we can go down the list, which is almost cliched, you know. People said you couldn't break the sound barrier until they did. You couldn't go into space until they did. Most of what our technology does today, if taken even a hundred years ago, would be considered magic, or taken 300 years ago might get you burned. So, to offer up the idea that something is impossible is immediately suspect. Yes, it is impossible to flap your arms and fly. There are certain things that are impossible. However, most things that people declare to be impossible are actually not. Oh, it's impossible for me to do that. Oh, no, it just looks impossible right now to you, immediately. You are ba making a judgment on the situation based only on the data you have in the immediate. When you attempt a task and try your hardest without regard to its possibility, as long as it isn't, again, in the example of flapping your arms, then there is a chance for success. You may find that what seemed to be utterly impossible is in fact difficult, is in fact merely difficult. And I say merely because it's downgraded from impossible. If it's only difficult, then who are you to complain? You can do it now. For that matter, even trying something that proves to be impossible, you cannot do it, will yield other results besides the attempted objective. What that means is you try to do something that's impossible, right? You discover it's impossible. Well, first off, you have discovered it is impossible. You have made a discovery, definitive proof that this is now impossible. Though that seems incredibly minor, you have discovered something new. Furthermore, Based on the efforts you have made, you might discover new things about yourself, testing yourself against a task that has proven to be impossible. What are you made of? You might just discover things about yourself that you didn't know. Even more, you might just discover things unrelated to the entire issue. You're trying to circumvent this one problem. You create something unrelated that ends up being incredibly useful, or you discover a fact that doesn't help you overcome the original objective, but helps you in a different problem, or helps enrich you in some way that you did not anticipate. Effort generates results. And it is always worth taking the risk of trying something, of putting your utmost into something, even if you might fail. Failure is in of itself a vehicle of learning. And as I have iterated in yet another video, do not be afraid to fail, because that leads to success. And I extend that to say, don't be afraid to attempt the impossible, because the impossible may prove to be impossible until you did it. Chuck Yeager has a couple of things he can say about that. Just something to think about.